Hi guys and thank you for joining me for another video. I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. Um, it's been a while since I touched my soft pastels and there's a reason for that. Um, they're really messy. <laughs> they're really dusty, they're really messy. Um, I had some good luck uh, housing some of my pastel pieces but um, I think since 2019 I haven't really made any and I thought it'd be a good idea to just get back at least for just a little piece just to sort of keep on top of it make sure that I still know what I'm doing uh, and I really believe that even if uh, I'm not using a particular medium uh, just painting in general helps my skills across all the mediums that I'm using so I sort of I was curious to see whether that was the case here and whether uh, all my recent landscape oil paintings have helped me any with regards to some of my color choices and some of my composition uh, though I am using a reference but the reference is more just for a general idea of a scene um, but I'm not trying to recreate the reference. I'm trying to just get a bit of an idea of where to start and, and then moving on. Uh, so I don't want to talk all over this video. I wanted to just let you watch it um, yourself, but I guess I thought it'd be good to just give you an idea of how I use pastels. And you'll, you'll see in the video how I've got a million tiny little pieces um, and uh, yeah, I do have some larger pieces from various brands, but I didn't really want to pull out my collection. I sort of wanted to see what I could do just with what I have immediately at hand. Uh, and these are a mix of both hard and mm, soft pastels. Uh, there's also sort of a medium hardness pastel. Uh, I think the Rembrandts, uh, I've got a couple of Rembrandts in there. Uh, they're medium hardness. And um, you would have seen that I used the long rectang rectangular hard pastel just to draw a bit of an outline and then I just sort of fill it in with the medium hardness um, and then the very soft pastels. So uh, I also use a piece of foam to blend uh, my strokes, but I don't over blend. I, I sort of want to keep uh, some aspects of the painting a little bit rougher um, and a little bit textured. And I think this is maybe a learned skill from oils where I leave a more textured foreground but they'll blend out the sky in a lot of my paintings so uh, I guess I could see that yeah some of what I've learned with my oils is bleeding through into the pastel piece and my paper of choice is uh, a toothed sanded paper uh, which allows me to lay down um, 
a decent amount of pastel layers and then blend them in. So I've mentioned why I haven't been playing around with pastels recently. I will, I think, maybe move on to oil pastels in the near future um, as part of a mixed media uh, sort of practice. But with the soft pastels, uh, the negative is how messy and dusty they are. Uh, they're also a bit more difficult to frame. Um, so I, while I have sold a few, um, I'm not really sure what collectors think of pastel pieces, uh, especially unframed pastel pieces. But yeah, I've had good luck with them, but I'm still a bit wary of them and I haven't worked large um, with them. I've sort of maintained sizes to a smaller, more um, sort of affordable collectible size. But what I do love about them is the fact that um, they're pure color. There's very minimal filler, especially in the good quality pastels. So you're basically playing with pure pigment almost. And I can't, I, I can't explain how, what a great feeling that is to just know that at your fingertips is a block of just almost pure color. There's no, there's nothing between you and the color you're using um, I don't know maybe I'm not explaining it very well but it's it's special it's different it's different to any other medium one could possibly use I think maybe it's because there's nothing in the way between you know the fingertips and the color there's no wood around a pencil core or a brush between the paint and and you it's just just pure pigment so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have any questions about this medium or any other medium uh, just leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, I've also left a um, link to some of the materials I'm using um, so feel free to check that out.